Hello, my name is Ian. This is in this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to beatbox.co. Now, beatbox.co uses a frequency and basically JavaScript in order to basically generate different sounds. And as a result, by merging these sounds, we can create a soundtrack. The soundtrack can be applied easily into a 2D or a 3D video game of, of yours. So if I scroll down, you will be able to see some tweets there from people who have actually created uh, different soundtracks by using beatbox. So you can actually press, press play, so you can actually hear the soundtrack. Okay, so you can actually click edit and you can see how these people have actually made the soundtracks. Okay, you're not going to use anybody else's soundtrack. Okay. So let's pause this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you what I just showed you is the capabilities of that you have by using Beatbox. But before we can actually run, we need to learn how to walk. So what you will need to do as the first time, so I'm going to just remove everything after the .co and press the enter key. So I have a blank project. And if I press play, as you can see, my timeline is moving. So the number one here on the blue, if I click and drag, I have created this section here. Now, if I click and drag it downwards, it goes from below to the top. And if I click here, I can go from the top down. And I can actually repeat a couple of times this. And now if I go here, I could actually say zero. So when the time light goes here, and here it's going to be silent. Can you see if you can hear now? Now you won't be able to hear anything. And then the sound comes back up again. So here I can actually select here, and I could actually put a different sound there. I could go here and I can put number one again as well. So it's, I've got a continuous soundtrack like this. Or I can actually say two here. So on the two, I could actually put a different sound. And here, I can put two again. Here, I can put two. And here, I can put two. So, one is like this, two is like this, and if I want to put a third one, By clicking and dragging, as you can see, by clicking and dragging, you will be able to change the volume within as well. Okay, so you play around a little bit with this and generate your own soundtrack. Once you're happy with your project, with the project you have created, 
if I scroll down here, you can increase the timeline or reduce the timeline here. I'm just going to leave this as, as, as a default. And now I'm going to go to File, select Export the Project, Export the Song. I'm just going to, just going to call it uh, TGG Main Menu. As you can see, I don't put any spaces. If you put spaces, that's okay, but as a good practice, is never put spaces. Use capital letters to separate words. Uh, leave the default export uh, file type .wav file format and click export and then click save. Now you're ready to actually import this song of yours into your video game. In the next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually add uh, the soundtrack into a Construct 3 video game. And also I'm going to show you how to control the sound by using uh, different methods. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.